You know what it's like? <laughs> Two steps forward, one step back. They were a bit stiff. They were a bit, mm, not worn, but they were a bit gummy. So anyway, I give this a good dousing at WD-40. It's made a hell of a difference. So I should have done it in the first place. I should have made sure that these were running freely and weren't sort of ganged up through standing. I don't remember where they've come from. I don't know if they're new or if they're old or whatever. They seem okay, but they weren't really spinning as they should because they were sort of gummed up. Anyway, I should have left them in WD-40 overnight, shouldn't I? Anyway, finally done it, but it means <laughs> stripping the thing, grab the bearings out of it, um, soak them in paraffin, clean them up, and then they run really nice. Yeah, not worn, they're just sort of stiff in a, you know, in a way. Somehow sort of stiff through lack of use. Because they're probably years and years and years old, but anyway. One step forward, two steps back. Yeah, welcome to Reggie's world. So I've decided to put them in the ultrasonic cleaner and a bit of um, bit of paraffin. So they're in the jar in the paraffin inside the ultrasonic cleaner. Let's, uh, and as you can see, the paraffin's quite clear at the moment, isn't it? So uh, we'll give them half an hour in there and let's see how much rubbish comes out. Yeah. I don't put paraffin in there. That's just water. Um, so let's give it a blast and let's see what happens. I thought I'd just show you this look. Here's a before. Just a round chunk of wood. Here is a after. I'm heading towards them three middle lines look. I'm using the laminate to follow the three lines. It seems to be all right. Shall I go down to one line? <laughs> no, no. It'll make them look stupid, won't it? And um, there we are. So that's the... Where's the before? This is the... No, yeah. This is the before. Here we go. Are we there? No, hold on. Put the light on. Put the light on. Right. This is the before, just a round wheel. This is the next stage, putting it on the power sander to follow this, these two lines, these three lines that are going round it, look. Uh, like we've done there, we've done pretty good there, haven't we? Just leave those three lines behind. This hasn't been on the, the drill but yet and leveled up. And then this is that finished much smoother isn't it much nicer looking yeah so a before a before and as near as damn it finished Ooh, lovely jubbly lovely jubbly so, so now it's just a shaft isn't it with a nut you know, a, a wheel nut. So put a wheel nut in there, slide that down there, put a wheel nut in there because they're automatically going to centre themselves, aren't they? That actually doesn't thread, it fits through, look. It's just it's quite, a, quite a tight fit. So just sort of, as you're going along, let them, let that, the groove of those sort themselves out. And then just sort of, Tighten this up, tighten this up, tighten this up, tighten this up. Oh yeah, get the spanner, tighten that up, tighten this up, yeah. Not too much, enough to grip, but not enough to enlarge the hole, you know. So we just sort of tighten that up so we can see that it's got, it'll go round here. A bit more, there we are. That'll be just fine. So now we can um, we can put that in the drill now and do a bit more sanding. Yeah. Now we can put that in there and we can just gently, you know, just rub it and sand it a bit smoother all together. Sand it with finer stuff. 
and it's going a bit slower so we're just going to make it all nice looking and then we'll check it with the old um, level on the corner thing we'll do that times four we'll be all right session look it's at half an hour you can see the it's made the the liquid darker hasn't it so it is throwing the sh sh rubbish out of it i'll give it another i'll give it another half an hour and then they'll be done so you know you know i'm a bend it bash it weld it cut it grind it person there's something really nice about making these wheels that's really, really something really pleasant it's it's been really nice making these or producing these wheels although they're just a simple wheel made out of wood but something very very pleasurable about it in a funny sort of way because i always say i'm not a particularly wood person so here we are look we brought them out the the the, the paraffin's a bit filthier now a bit dirtier but the the bearings have come out really really it was well worth doing well worth putting in the uh, ultrasonic cleaner give them a bit of an oiling and they're much much better look there they're running way way better hmm wow just by just by cleaning those bearings up putting them in the ultrasonic cleaner look at that Oh, <laughs> it's made such a difference cleaning up those bearings. They were quite sort of gummy, weren't they? So now we've got a lovely little wheel that will keep going. Oh, we're getting there. We're nearly there. We're nearly there. So there's the first axle done. <laughs> it's made such a difference. Now I've cleaned out them bearings. Look at that. All we need now is to find a big steep hill. See how far it'll go. Yeah. So all we have to do is the front one next. But uh, I'm really, I'm really pleased with that. Really. Yeah. Not fouling anywhere, is it? That one runs a bit easier than that one maybe drag it behind the car run the bearings in <laughs> anyway hmm so it's um run test time if one wheel spins keeps going that means there's a problem with the other look so let's have a look. Uh, that front one's a bit stiff isn't it yeah, the front one there is a bit stiff. Let's try this side. <laughs> the right rear and the left front. Yeah, that front one goes out there. The back one finishes way too early. And then if you turn it round. It's a bit stiff. See, yeah. The front one keeps going. We just need to put a few more miles on it. Give it a bit of, um, maybe I've took too much lubrication out of it. Put a bit of um, WD in it now and oil it up again. Anyway, we've got wheels. We've got wheels. <laughs> Oh yeah, and I just burred. I used all thread, didn't I? So I just bashed the ends so the nut don't fall off. You know, when you go in, so the nuts, the end nuts don't fall off. Just bashed them. I could have used night locks, but yeah, they do just the fine. And to resist the temptation of showing you any more until um, race day, but I'm uh, I'm about to. Um, fit a cheat into it <laughs> what will that be what might that be yeah i'm gonna wipe the floor with all the competition <laughs> but you'll have to wait for that won't you 
you'll have to you'll have to guess and wait for that. Why am I gonna wipe the floor with all the competition?